there are several ways to create 3d metallic text inside after effects however there always comes a situation where you need to do it really quick like within a couple of minutes and that's where this technique comes in handy create the text and using the align tool position it in the center now pre-compose this thing ctrl shift c and name it text now add a fractal noise effect to it and under the transform parameter uncheck uniform scaling and increase the scale width all the way up and decrease the scale height all the way down and also decrease the contrast to maybe like 10. Well this gives that brushed metal kind of a texture look. Now add a bevel alpha effect. This helps to simulate the lighting. Now add another fractal noise effect. All right. And this time decrease the complexity to three and also uncheck uniform scaling. And this time increase the scale height and also increase the scale width to something like this. Okay, now increase the contrast to maybe like 300 and change the blending mode to multiply. Also, increase the brightness just a bit. Maybe we can decrease the contrast to something like 280 and also decrease the brightness just a bit. There you go, that's some very quick and very cheap metallic text. Now, if you want to make this text 3D, you can actually duplicate the text and to the bottom copy, add a CC radial blur effect, change the type to fading zoom and give it some negative value. Something like that, yeah. Now add a cause effect, change the channel to alpha and raise the white point all the way up. Now add another cause effect and another RGB channel, decrease the brightness all the way down, kind of like this. Now enable 3D for these two layers. Now if you rotate the camera here, we can see that this is not a real extrusion. Like this is obviously not a real extrusion, but we can at least fake it somehow. To do that, we can create a null object, make it 3D, hit P and position it all the way back in the Z axis. Like 100000, 1 lakh, all the way back. Now go to the CC radial blur effect and I'll click the center and now left click drag to pick with the null object and write this expression dot to comp cymp open and close brackets and inside that open and close square brackets and write 0 comma 0 comma 0. Well this expression basically converts the null object position into the composition space and outputs that into the CC radial blur center. You don't need to understand that it's just a one time thing. You can simply copy paste the expression in the description. Okay, now check this out. If you rotate the camera, we can see that the extrusion kind of behaves like a real 3D extrusion. But if you rotate the camera too far, the fake will be obviously fake. So keep that in mind while using this technique. Up to like 45 degrees, you will be okay. Now, if you want to decrease the extrusion, you can actually do that by decreasing the CC radial blur amount. There you go. Well, bonus round. Now we can also add an adjustment layer and add a curves effect and decrease the red channel just a bit to give it a greenish tint to simulate that typical metallic look which most of the trailers use. Now inside the fractal noise effect which we created before, we can animate the offset turbulence to simulate a shimmer. There you go, that typical metallic shimmer. And this becomes even more useful especially when you decide to animate the camera rotation. There you go. We have a 3D extrusion and we also have a shimmer animation. So that's one way to fake things. Are you real?